Thank you H Company for sponsoring today's video. In this video, I'm gonna check out Runner H. It's a brand new generalistic agent that has things like automation, connection to MCP servers, and even access to a virtual browser that allows you to research topics. It resembles things like ChatGPT operator. So for this video, I wanted to explore how it goes for programming topics. Can it research different types of tools I should be using in my own startups? And can it automate some of the things that I'm already doing in the web development space? Let's begin. So the company that created this tool is called H Company. Let's take a closer look at what makes them special. They focus on a lot of research, creating APIs and tools around the AI space. And this is where they've just released this new tool, which is focused on things like taking action, creating automations and computer use. Here's the interface for Runner H. From an interface point of view, not too bad. It reminds me from a lot of UIs that I already see in the AI space. We've got our menu here on the left-hand side. We've got run, which takes us to the main home section. Discover, which allows us to see different types of automations we could create. Files, which allow us to upload documents and then maybe use the AI to work with them. Connections, which allows us to connect up different types of MCP servers and tools, such as Notion, Slack, and Google, as well as a pay section and a recent tasks I've completed. And I'll get into that shortly. Then here in the middle, we've got our main chat interface. And we've got an option here for human contact. Do we want to be highly involved, moderately involved, or have the AI do everything fully automated? So for the start, I think I'm going to test out this chat interface and see how it goes at researching different types of programming topics. I've got this idea for building a no-code, low-code type of drag and drop builder. And I thought I would do some research as to what packages and tools I could use to create it. I'm going to ask Runner H to be able to compile this information for me. On the immediate use, it's come up with a few good recommendations, such as React iframe, React Simple Code Editor, as well as the Monaco Editor. It's kind of performed a light web search for this, but I want to create something that's a little bit more involved. So I'm going to use the Surfer H Web Agent. It's a tool that allows us to have a web browser are connected to the agent and for it to use more computer use to be able to research this topic in depth. Let's see what it comes up with. Here you can see it started on the web and it's got the very first page here. It's going to start searching Google up for different types of results as it's researching this topic and then click through different pages and investigate those before coming back with a full response. This will take some time because it's actually going through and searching the web properly for this. It has finished here and it's come back with some results. So here I've got platforms, for example, such as Plasmatic, Retool, Stackbit, as well as Notion as being similar to kind of what I'm trying to build and NPM packages like React iFrame and React Frame component as things I could actually use to try and replicate some of these features. And as a quick note, Runner H right now is free. So if you want to actually test it out yourself, it's not going to cost you anything. So this is a perfect time to test out really cool features just like this. I continue to use this tool to research what kind of things I could build to create a stack that could have something like a lovable or bold.new interface and came back with two recommendations that I really liked, which was web containers, as well as using something like a sandpack where it hosts the server in the cloud. To make better use of Runner H, it's best to connect up different services. So let's have a look at some of the ones that we have available. There's quite a few here already. You can add your own custom ones, but I'm going to start with Google Sheets. And this is kind of like connecting your MCP server so that Runner H can start utilizing it as part of different types of tasks. Here, I've connected up my Google Sheets account. So now when I go and create a prompt to say research different types of iframes I can use with React, it can populate out a Google Sheet for me so I can see all the different types of comparisons in one nice table. You can also connect up different tools. Like for example, Zapier allows me to connect up its own MCP server. And once I add it, I get access to heaps more tools than I would otherwise get because Zapier kind of connects to everything. So here I could use Runner H to use the Zapier automation to send me a message directly on my phone through WhatsApp. This then pops up right here. Another way is to email myself. So I could create a draft using the Zapier automation and then I can view that draft, which is just over here. It's a lot better. And I can even send that to one of my team members or directly to myself. And that way I can kind of action out a different task based on conversations or automations I've made. Additionally, then there are files. Files 
are generated occasionally by the AI itself, but I can also upload my own files and we could use this to do additional prompts. So for example, I might want to add a little bit of my code base here. So let me go to GitHub. I'll go here to Axel Design. I'll go to App and then to Nodes. Here I've got a custom node I'm working on. So I'm gonna upload this one document and I'm gonna see if I can ask it to utilize this document to help me figure out how to do a little bit of code. So I'm gonna ask it how to do a bit of a virtual iframe that allows me to have React code and see if it can give me some examples. Here it's given me this one, which kind of lets me import React and React DOM into the iframe. And that way I can create components. But the issue with this one, for example, is that I would need the syntax to be, well, a little bit different than what I want. I want to just create regular functional components, kind of how like Babel transforms them before adding them into a browser. And this just makes writing them a lot easier. The answer to this was of course, importing Babel so that I can write React components kind of how I'm used to. Additionally, Runner H has a discovery, which kind of has pre-made examples of how you can utilize it. There are productivity examples like creating curated lists, then having those lists added into things like Gmail or Slack or something like that. And then there's also things like where you can use the web browser to summarize articles or create lists from online shopping services where you might be looking for discounts. It's really up to you to discover how you want to use it. A big thanks to H Company for sponsoring this video. If you want to check out Runner H, then check the link in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.